Hi, I'm Rochelle Clemenson, the art teacher at Center School. This is our second series of skills in the art room. Today we're going to be talking about gluing with dots and cutting into small areas with your first graders. Gluing with dots and cutting into your small areas. Okay, we're going to glue with dots, but first we have to check our glue bottle. If the white dot is showing, it means it's closed, so we just turn the orange. Then I tell your students, is it talking to you? So you, how do you tell? It's just by squeezing it. Do you hear it? And if you hear it, it means that the glue is open. If it doesn't, you just tell them to peel off that little clear glue that has dried on top, and then squeeze, all right? This is closed, this is open. You gotta check to make sure it's talking to you. Now we do glue with dots. So what I tell the children is put a dot down, anywhere, it doesn't really matter, and then about three fingers apart. Now, we can do that all around, about three fingers apart. Then I talk to them about corners. I put one here, I put one here, I put it here. Anywhere where there's a corner, a small piece sticking out, I would tell them to do it there. Not right on the edge, but close to the edge. That's all. No glue needs to go in the middle. Then I tell them to turn it over, and glue doesn't stick unless you push it down. All right? And that makes good gluing, just like an artist does. The second thing is cutting into small places. Your children have been working like Paul Clay, making fish cool or warm. Today, this week, they're starting with Henry Matisse, and they're cutting, yes it is, sandpaper. So we're going to just show you, you use both techniques, no matter what your weight of paper is. You know that we start from the last video, lobster always pointing away from you, and turning the paper. This isn't too small, but this is what I was talking about. I could go into the corner a different direction. And then you just pull it out. So I would turn the paper, keep cutting. But again, this is a small area, so go in from another direction. Here I would just continue around. Oh, I'm hitting a small area. So I go in from the other direction so that I don't rip the mouth, if I was trying, or the nose, if I was trying to do like this, the scissors behind, and it tends to rip the paper. So I would continue going around, and any time I hit a small area, I would cut it out and just pull it. So all around, small areas. Now when it's sandpaper, or any weight of paper, it takes a little bit more muscle, but your scissors, I'm using children's scissors, they work fine, on any weight of paper going around. I'd start over here, this is a small area, going around into the small area, turning it just a little bit and cutting out. I tell the students their scissors are like a car and to stay on the line to cut out. Now this area is pretty big so I can turn it there and move it around. Small area. Your scissors like a car and a lobster, like we talked about before, and moving around the object that they're cutting. All right, this time it was sandpaper and just regular paper. You can use children's scissors. It was gluing and cutting like an artist in first grade. 